While politicians have always been looked down on as purveyors of false statements, this belief has only been amplified over the past few years due to the numerous and outlandish lies by Donald Trump. The belief that politics is centered around propaganda has only increased since Trump hired Rudy Giuliani to join his team of lawyers in April of last year. It has long been understood that Giuliani's sole purpose on Trump's team has been to publicly provide lies and propaganda in an effort to dissuade Trump supporters from believing the results of special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into Trump-Russia treason. One of Giuliani's biggest deceptions, which was parroted by various major news outlets at the time, was when he announced last May that Mueller had admitted he could not indict Donald Trump, all they get to do is write a report. They can't indict. At least they acknowledged that to us after some battling, they acknowledged that to us. While this announcement likely assuaged Trump's immediate desire to illegally end Mueller's investigation, it carried zero legal weight. As Palmer report is documented, the supposed Department of Justice rules preventing a sitting president from being indicted are simply a non-binding guideline. As presented on Thursday night's Rachel Maddow show, these guidelines are not only arbitrary and untested, but also likely inaccurate. According to J.T. Smith, who served at the CIA and was a top advisor to Attorney General Elliot Richardson, the process of determining if a president can be indicted was quite ambiguous. It would be timely and appropriate for the Justice Department and Robert Mueller to reconsider the shaky policy regarding indictability of a sitting president first formulated 45 years ago, Smith stated. The durability of this opinion is curious. So someone involved in the original decision on whether a president can face punishment for illegal actions while in office is now openly admitting that it was faulty. I think it is well past time that we determine this once and for all. Mueller should indict Trump yesterday.